So, do you know, we have had over 2 million views on our channel. Admittedly, it's taken a few years to get there, but thank you very much for um, supporting us and for all your comments and your questions. We love it. And I thought, I've been waiting for a few years to start talking about watering, one of the most important jobs in the garden, one of the most enjoyable and relaxing jobs in the garden, one of the jobs that you can almost hear the plants thanking you as you're doing it. We ought to start thinking about watering. So, there's a lot to it, so we're going to do this over a few videos, but just this time of year, we're doing this now in June, midsummer, in, um, in here in South Wales. And um, over the winter, you can see, I don't know if you can see there, that we put uh, some... We call them pot feet. Um, uh, some method of raising our pots outside off the ground in the winter because we get so much rain that actually in the winter some of these plants will suffer if their roots are too wet. When they're dormant and they're not growing and it's wet and cold they can suffer. So by raising them off the ground in the winter when we're not watering but we need the excess rainwater to run through that helps. But now this time of the year in the summer it's the opposite problem. We do occasionally get warm, sunny, dry weather. And so we don't want the water to, to drain out quite so quickly. So what we're gonna to do to help on the watering front for the summer is we're gonna replace those pot feet with a saucer. So this rather lovely um, caprosma, uh, this shrub, I think it's a New Zealand shrub. Oh, it's heavy, I'll tell you. Oh. Bending the knees, I hope you notice. Um, we're gonna move these pot feet out of the way covered in wood lice. Why can't we just um, put the saucer on that then? Do you ever have a cameraman who asks awkward questions? Um, I have. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, we could do that, love, yes. Um, but, um, Shouldn't you get the brush? <laughs> <laughs> uh, excuse but me. Behind you. Excuse me while I get a brush. How's that? Okay, so then there goes our saucer, and then bending the knees again. So now, when we water this, we can either water it over the top, and any excess water will collect in the tr in the in the saucer, or we could, in fact, we could in fact put some water in the saucer and let it soak up. I tend to water from the above and then let it um, let it wash through because we've got slow release fertilizer on the top there and by watering over the slow release fertilizer it'll wash the nutrients down to where the roots are. So step one of the watering think about what season you're in and what can you do to help manage the water in the, the pots for this, this plant according to the time of year. Let excess water out in the winter hold in every drop you can during hot dry weather. Thank you. Any comments, any questions, let us know.